Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 5 to the power 11 and 4 to the power 13. And we're going to find out which number is greater. And I'll be presenting two methods. And I'm pretty sure there is another method that I haven't thought about. Please let me know in the comments down below. Great. So let's get started with the first method. Oops. Sometimes... Notability is going to treat me like this. I don't know why. So here's what we're going to do for the first method. I'm going to compare a power of 5 and a power of 4. And their exponents are mm, kind of close. 11 and 13. So I can do the following. Take 5 fourths and raise it to the power 11. And then I'm going to write this as, oh, by the way, I think another method could be using the binomial theorem because think about this, 5 fourths to the power 11 can be written as 1 plus 1 fourth to the power 11. And if you expand this a little bit, you could probably show that this is less than something or greater than something, whatever works. Anyways, I just thought of that real quick. And now we can go ahead and proceed with the solution. So 5 fourths to the power 11, I'm going to write it as 5 fourths to the power 9 times 5 fourths squared. So let's go ahead and write the ninth power as 5 fourths. So let me not skip any steps. OK, cool. I'm going to write it this way first. And then the ninth power, I'm going to write it as 5 fourths cubed cubed. That makes 9, right? Times 5 fourths squared is just 25 over 16. Awesome. What am I going to do with this, right? Well, I'm going to cube inside. So that's going to give me 125 over 64, but there's another cube on the outside and multiply by 25 over 16. So here's my goal. I want to turn this fraction inside 125 over 64 into, so I want to make the numerator divisible by the denominator. And since I'm dealing with powers of 5 and 4 or powers of 5 and 2, I'll try to make this a power of 2 so that it's divisible by 64. Because 64 is a power of 2, it's 2 to the 6th power. What is the closest number? It's 2 to the 7th, isn't it? So 125, obviously, right, is less than 128. So when I divide both sides by 64, that's going to be di divided by 64. So it's going to be 2. In other words, this is less than 2. Make sense? OK, great. So we're going to write it like this then. This is Since this is less than 2, this number, so it's, this, its cube is less than, uh, and I'll probably bring this over here so I can work with it, because I do need some space. OK, here we go. Now, this expression right here is less than 2 cubed times 25 over 16. Does that make sense? Because this is, this is less than 2, as you can see here, right? OK. Now, what does that mean? This is 8. 8 goes into 16 two times, and that gives me 25 over 2, which is 12.5. Great. So this expression right here, right, is less than 12.5. Hmm. What am I going to compare it to, though? Well, I want this to be less than 16. And it is, right? So here's what we get. 125 over 64 cubed times 25 over 16 is less than 16. Hmm, interesting. But where did I, where did it get started? Where did I, what did I start with? Right? This is what I started with. So that expression is actually 5 over 4 to the power 11 happens to be less than 16. Now, could we use the same thing using the binomial theorem? Probably. Uh, but I'm just going to show you the two methods that I thought about. So binomial theorem is not one of them. Anyways, so we got this, which is super duper nice because 16 is 4 squared. Hopefully this made sense. The critical part is basically uh, getting a power of 4 at the end. So we got the 12.5, which was nice because these two twos canceled out, so on and so forth. OK, so they're not super close, but they're close. So now we get something nice from here because this is 5 to the power 11 divide by 4 to the power 11, which is less than 4 squared. If you multiply both sides by 4 to the power 11, which is fine because it's positive, you get 5 to the power 11 is less than 4 to the power 13. And this means our winner is 
4 to the power 13. Yay, great, this is the winner. Now, this is the end of the first method. Again, we started off with 5 fourths to the 11th power, broke it down, separated one of them as 25 over 16, and this guy over here inside, we cubed it, and then we compared 125 to 128. So that kind of also gives you some idea which I'll use in my second method, so let's not talk about it yet. Anyways, okay, so that's the end of the first method, and 4 to the power 13 is the winner. At the end, I'm going to show you the numerical values, so you can also compare that way. But of course, you're not allowed to use a calculator for these kinds of problems. I know some people write like, why don't you just use a calculator? Why do you have to go through all this work? Well, the idea is, this is kind of like a competition problem. Think about think of it as an Olympiad problem, you know, at the, I don't know, whatever grade level you think it is appropriate for. And then you're, you don't have access to a calculator. Okay? Great. So second method. Now, in the first method, hopefully this got your attention, 125 is being compared to 128, right? So think about it. 125 is uh, less than 128. What does that tell you? Well, it does tell you that this is 5 to the 3rd and this is 2 to the 7th. So 5 to the 3rd is less than 2 to the 7th. But my expression, the original one, is I need to compare this number and this number. What does that have to do with powers of 2? Well, 4 is 2 squared. Think about it. Okay, so here's how we proceed. We know that 5 to the 3rd is less than 2 to the 7th, and I want to get to 5 to the 11th. So, similar idea, we cube both sides. Okay, let's cube and cube. This gives us 5 to the 9th is less than 2 to the power 21. Awesome. So, here's what I'm going to do. I don't have 5 to the 11th, but I'm going to use another way to compare powers of 5 and 2, and that is going to come from that's going to come from the following. 5 squared is 25. That is less than 32. And 32 is, is 2 to the 5th power. Remember, there is a bunch of problems like A to the B and B to the A. Uh, when is uh, the first one greater? When is the second one greater? So on and so forth. You know, there's a rule that you can use to compare them. Raise both sides to the power 1 over AB, and you're going to get A to the power 1 over A versus B to the power 1 over B. And then look at the graph of X to the power 1 over X, so on and so forth. Anyways, that's another story, and now we've done some problems. But here's what I'm going to do. 5 squared is less than 2 to the 5th. Multiply these together. Yay, we can do that. 5 to the power 11 is less than 2 to the power 26, which is equal to 4 to the power 13. And that's what we were looking for. And... This gives us that, again, one more time, the larger number is 4 to the power 13. Let's go ahead and take a look at the numerical values, and we'll just finish up with that. 5 to the power 11 is 48 million. Wow, that's such a large number, right? 48,828,125, and 4 to the power 13, which is the same as 2 to the power 26, is 67 million something something. And our winner, again, is... 4 to the power 13. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.